Hello, my dear viewers. Welcome to today's message. Today being Wednesday, July 10th, 2024, and the message is for all of us, each and every one of us. I hope you'll enjoy it. I hope it supports you, understand what's coming, what's igniting today. Every day in our lives, something ignites in our destinies for each and every one of us in different ways and different timing. But that's why I do these readings, because on a daily basis, there's something igniting, something is taking place every day teaches us something. So let's see what today's messages are. Let me start by saying welcome everyone and happy birthday to those of you celebrating today, July 10th. I wish you a glorious day. Those of you celebrating any kind of occasions, I wish you the best of the best. And my congratulations to everyone celebrating and those who are not celebrating. I do wish you my best wishes, my dear viewers. Thank you all for being here. Let us see what the message is for today. The main message. Oh, oops, oops, oops. It's this one here, family. Okay, let's see. This is about family and things that are happening in family. Like, for example, the situation. It looks like there's a situation rooted in an emotional experience with a family member. So one particular family member has got some emotional... Um, your emotional experience might help them. There's something in their emotions deep within that needs your help. It says, we, we can help you to understand and heal. So the heavens, your guardian angels are going to support you to heal and understand the situation. It says, in your mind and heart, surround this person, yourself, and the experience with calming blue light and many angels. So yourself and the angels will be with you, surrounding this family member until they heal. Be open to the gifts within the situation and allow yourself to feel peace. In order to feel peace, you'll be able to heal. In order to feel compassion and love, you have to have peace in order to function and be able to give healing. So that's the answer there. Let's have a look at two more messages from this deck. My dear viewers, my dear um, friends and best um, viewers, what can I say? <laughs> Sometimes um, I get lost with words. I just wanted to say... Um, Thank you all for your contributions and for your support. Um, I'm very grateful for all of you. And I enjoy reading your comments immensely. So always open your heart and share with me everything. And my dear viewers, in regard to these seven messages, they are for all of us, but you can make them personal, like the way I've always taught you, guided you, to ask any question you want. Whether it's timing, whether it's elaboration, or whether it's details you want, whatever it is, and nominate any kind of answer to get your personal, so, so that it's so personal and direct and specifically for you. So you can do that, and I'll open them right after two messages from here. So you can just write down everything, and if you're not ready, you want to see what I, what's coming and what I'm saying, then pause it after this so that I can go through them, and then you can unpause it once you've written and nominated your questions and your answers. Okay, so two messages for everyone. First one, wow, we had this yesterday, Miracles. Beautiful transformations are going to bring on a lot of miracles. Miracles are going to be pouring in just like this beautiful waterfall, as you can see. The rainbow waterfall will be filled with colors and beautiful transformations and changes that are going to bring you exceptional um, miracles. With these miracles, they're for families, new beginning, and great success. A lot of success coming with these miracles. We're going to take one more message for July 10th for everyone. And we have uncertainty. For those of you who are feeling unsure, lost, not sure what's going to happen next, where you're heading, and wanting freedom. Again, if, if you notice, you've got two butterflies here. You see? And there's the two butterflies. So the changes, the transformations that are taking place. I was saying, my dear viewers, these butterflies are showing beautiful changes are coming. Even though you may be feeling uncertain, but be assured that the changes are going to be spectacular because they are governed by miracles. And miracles, you know, they are incredible blessings. Not one, but many miracles. And the changes that are taking place are going to show you and take you to the greatest Assurance, like the, all the uncertainty is going to disappear. You're heading towards freedom. You're heading towards success. You're heading towards a lot of happiness and a lot of color in your life. Color meaning happiness, joy, excitement, passion, everything. 
So the changes that are coming are going to be spectacular. Remember that. So all the uncertainty can disappear. Four more messages for all of us, each and every one of us, for July 10th. Let's see. Before I do this, now is the time where I'm going to start this um, these questions and go through them with you. Answers. Messages for all of us, and you can make them specific. This is the time where you put me on pause if you haven't asked your questions. And let me begin. Starting with the first one. Right, it says, stepping into power, you are strong beyond measure. Strong beyond measure. So you're stepping into power, and you're able to move forward without hesitation. You are supported. You're not alone. You're very much supported. You're he the heavens are with you, showing you the light, showing you how to go, where to go, and where you're headed. So your strength is going to be overwhelming. In this manner, you are very strong. If you have any doubt, be assured not to have any doubts, because... Um, you are going to be supported big time. The light bulb. It says this is where it's about an aha moment where you discover something, where you get an epiphany, where everything becomes understandable and falls into place. Discovering, having a breakthrough. Um, this is also a new source of income, perhaps. Revealing and realization. Revelations, realizations, enlightenment, epiphany, illumination, invention, and intellect. But most of all, I feel like you'll be transcending with this uh, light bulb, this idea. And um, it's going to transcend you to high levels. I also feel like there's going to be healing. Partnerships, in some cases, elevation. And um, I'd say three weeks from now and in August. This they could, they could be connected to people who are Gemini, Cancer, um, Pisces, Aquarius, and Virgo, and Leo. Very strong. 26 is the number, Chinese year of the snake the ox buffalo and the goat and like i said nearly three weeks from now up to august even august included we have this card here where it says this message i feel abandoned i feel abandoned i often feel like others let me down so if not abandoned but feeling and being let down for some for some being abandoned um this is about this person, if you, if you, if this is you feeling lost, abandoned, uncertain, uncertainty, everything is going to be clear, clear for you very soon. The light bulb gives you enlightenment and gives you power. It gives you uh, the aha moment where you understand why you're feeling this way and whatever happened, why it happened. Everything it becomes more understandable. Now. This tells me that September is going to help you a big time. I feel like freedom is coming. Um, the end of a challenge is coming. The Chinese year of the monkey connected here and September. Nine days from now for some of you. And um, an uncertainty disappears, especially when this challenge is met. Let's have a look at this one here. It says, in the flow, everything is smooth sailing. Like I said, this is for all of us. Smooth sailing. Everything is going to be going well. So when you were feeling abandoned, that's going to change. Feeling uncertainty, that's going to change. And I think all this is brought on by the miracles that are coming from the heavens. So in the flow and um, smooth sailing. Okay. We have the wise leader. So it says you are be a beacon to others. You are the healer. You are a beacon to others. So if you've asked something where you're wondering about if you're questioning yourself, know that you are very strong, you are filled with wisdom, and people follow you. You are the one who leads. So that's a beautiful question, a beautiful answer. It also shows that where you're feeling uncertainty, all that changes. Now, it says here, I miss you. Let's both stop running away. This is to do with a lot of healing. This is to do with love and spirituality. Chinese year of the snake, six weeks from now, six days to six weeks from now. And I'm um, connected to people who are Gemini, who might have Gemini in them, and Cancer. Someone's missing someone on a grand scale. Someone misses you extremely. Let's have a look at this one. Wow. Emptiness. Hmm. That's bizarre. Wow. This has just the signs in it, nothing else. So this is, I'll just leave it like that. It's no answer. Very strange. I should take that card out, actually. I will. Right, my dear viewers. Now, let's go through the tarot. We have the Queen of Swords, someone. 
who, if you are an air sign yourself, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, this could be you, putting your emotions aside and thinking with your mind and using your practicality, using your logic, your intellect to guide, your, to guide yourself towards the truth. If it's not you, then it is uh, someone that it might be helping you to see the truth and to not to use your emotions, to put your emotions aside and use all your power, all your mind to see where the truth is and how to proceed and move with the truth. This eliminates any kind of uncertainty when you are in this power. The power of the Queen of Swords is magnificent. The um, Page of Wands here, a new beginning, a wonderful new beginning ignites. It could be with someone that has fire energy in them, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. This could be someone that's bringing you the idea or someone that's joining you in this uh, new um, venture or new project, it's going to be sprouting and bringing you a lot of happiness and a lot of excitement, whatever this may be. The Seven of Pentacles shows that a grand rise in your money, major rise, and this is where you need advice, this is where you might be investing, buying properties, real estate, investments, asking advice what the best course of action is there's a lot of money a lot of money for you to handle actually we've been seeing a lot of money all these um few days like it hasn't stopped it's been really big money coming unexpected money all of that so let's see uh okay some of you are leaving so i'll put this away and i'll put this one here right that's it um yes my dear viewers many of you might be going through somebody leaving or you may be leaving a situation that's been really um, upsetting you where you're not happy emotionally unsatisfied you want to go somewhere where you will be happy in search of happiness so you're leaving sadly not very happy but you have no choice it's like as though the choice is uh, as though the truth is to get you to to leave what you don't see happening is a lot of blessings are coming with a new beginning a new beginning, a rebirth, a new life, and a lot of blessings pouring in. Just like the miracles here that are pouring in, they're going to be pouring into your life with a new beginning that brings you a lot of healing, compensation, a new lease of life, and blessings beyond your imagination. A lot of blessings with the Four of Wands, achieving um, so many things, so many blessings and so many miracles that you'll be in gratitude for. That's what's coming, what you don't see happening. Okay. Now that we've got this, we're going to take three more cards from another deck. For the whole collective. Okay, so we've got the three of pentacles. Uh, sorry, the three of wands. And we need... Okay, I'll just put these here. We need two more. So I'll put this here for a moment. Two more. Okay. The second one, we have the six of cups. Okay, we'll talk about these in a moment. And the third one, the queen of swords again. Okay, I'll put the cups here. And I'll put the Queen of Swords there. Okay, so let's talk about these. Before I do what you don't see coming. Now, the Queen of Swords is exactly this Queen of Swords, as you can see, twice. Putting emotions, that's what the heavens are saying. Put your emotions aside and think with logic. Do what you think is practical, what is right, especially if you're making decisions about anything. Your life's path, whatever. And the uncertainties will disappear once you are using your heart, uh, sorry, using your mind and your logic You'll be able to see the truth and you'll know how to proceed. So somebody keeps telling the truth also. Somebody could be bombarding you with the truth. <laughs> this is also to do with air energies, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, dealing with them, they keep at it with what is the truth. And sometimes it can become unbearable. <laughs> I'm a Libra myself. I know what I'm talking about. The three of wands. Sometimes you get tired of constantly... Um, you know, trying to teach people to face up to the truth. It's not easy. It becomes too much. The Three of Wands is about expansion, expanding your mind, your horizons, looking at the bigger picture, thinking about distance, moving away maybe from uh, the place, from where you are, thinking about distance and going further, buying something, expanding your business maybe, um, expanding your horizons, opening your mind to a new, uh, new chapter, a new way of life. I feel like there's going to be a lot of rewards in this process and you are really having uh, the options that you didn't have and now you're really thinking about expanding. So that is wonderful. And of course, we've got the Six of Cups. This is about saying goodbye to the past, letting go of the past, surrender, let go, let it go completely. 
there's nothing you can do about the past. You just have to let it go in order to be able to move forward in your future. So that goes there. What you don't see happening and coming, justice is going to prevail and it's going to give you what is truthfully yours and what you deserve and all will prevail for you and in your favor if there's any lawsuit. So justice. And also you've got the Knight of Pentacles, someone of um, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn is working very hard towards something and I feel like this person may be supporting you also coming into your life. There's the Six of Pentacles also finally and the Four of Pentacles. I'll take them both. And this is about a lot of money coming in. Maybe you don't, it might not come up. They, they didn't come up now. Maybe they will later on. But the Six of Pentacles shows a lot of money where you'll be able to help those who are in need. People hand, uh, putting their hands out, help, they need help. And you'll have the capacity to help with the Six of Pentacles. So that is really wonderful. You'll have so much. And the reason you have so much is because of the Four of Pentacles. A lot of money is coming. This is ground-changing money. A lot of money. And you can see money is all over the place in your reading, all over the place. So money is coming on a grand scale where you will have um, a lot to think about here, a lot to uh, think about where to invest and how to invest, but at the same time you're helping others. This could be coming from unexpected amounts of money where it's life-changing money, could be coming from there. Wherever it's coming from, it's unexpected, it's not um, something you knew. It might be inheritance, it might be a windfall, a lot of money to give you the capacity to move forward and help others and and change your lifestyle, change your life, change your home. There's a lot of miracles happening, uh, my dear viewers. So much miracles that they could be bringing on uh, these these abundance uh, of money and wealth. So that's incredible. Let's have a look at now two more messages. Oh, the moon. One more nearly came out. And the love okay so the moon is about truth again being released and it's sitting right next to the queen of swords this is about um, revelations this is about seeing the truth this is also about being guided unknown matters come to light this is where uncertainty disappears because you get to see everything clearly just like the queen of swords and it's also about um, being guided and funds fleeing funds money that's disappearing that's going somewhere you're gonna find out where it's going um it's also about moonlighting careers that are really odd jobs here and there night shift some of you might be considering working but a lot of you could be thinking of working part-time and not needing to work so much with all the money that's coming in so revelations and perhaps one wish come true that's also the star there the the love is gorgeous this is about getting exactly what you love this is about emotional spending, cause of excitement, joint of finances, putting money together with someone, being very supported and having a job that you love, getting what you love. And some of you might be considering um, jobs to do with counseling or guidance, helping others, supporting others, and also um, career and, and guidance or support. But getting exactly what you love. That's beautiful. Now, my dear viewers, the next one. Sorry, I just grab something yeah right okay the next chapter is this one here let's see what else you need to know oh there they are july 10th it says pay attention to the red flags there is something that's not right well with the moon there's going to be revelations that's for sure things that are hidden from you and i feel like uh, it says the signs are cautioning you so pay attention You've also got the justice uh, with the blindfold. That means that there's some injustice happening behind your back. That you're not aware of it. But I do feel although it's happening, hidden matters, this is also hidden, unknown. Unknown things are happening and you need to pay attention. Behind your back, without you knowing, there is some sort of maybe deception, maybe hidden, uh, maybe there's a facade, maybe somebody's not being very honest. Um, there is something fleeing funds money is disappearing you've just got to be very cautious but justice will prevail for you even though even though you may not be seeing it at this point in time but it will take place pay attention to the details it's going to be very important so that's that one there and then we've got trust it says this situation is calling for you to have faith so have faith even though we're talking about things like that have faith 
um, that things are going to improve for you. Miracles are coming in, and there's going to be a lot of um, a lot of support, especially in your love life. If there are issues of trust, it says have faith, don't lose faith. You've got the golden heart. You will get what you love, and you've got the miracles supporting you. Now, let's see. July 10th, we collected oh, two of them. Okay. Right. So we, it says here, give thanks for the blessings of love. Now, for those of you who are single, uh, blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to have, to be in love and to have all that your heart desires. True desire. So give thanks for the loving that's coming your way. And it says, be aware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in another in one another are qualities you both possess equally. The qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So take the good with the bad and remember what you see that you love in that person. They might have things that you don't like and you've already got them yourself. That's what this means, projection. Just explaining it for those um, you know, people who might not really understand the meaning of this. So that's that one. Now let's clarify everything. Starting with, we're going to go with the Three of Wands. See what the Three of Wands is. What is it that you're thinking of doing? Going anywhere? Some of you could be going places. Buying a new business, moving, right? It's at the end of a chapter and there it is, the Three of Wands. So it just shows the reason uh, the Three of Wands is here is because of the world. It shows to me that one chapter of your life has ended and now you're moving to the next level. And the next level is thinking where to live, how to live, all about yourself, what to do. And if you have family, of course, with children too, if there's a chapter that's ending, you'll be thinking what to do. There's a lot of money, a lot of elevation, a lot of victories. So you won't be doing this the hard way. It's going to be there, supported. You are elevated and supported. And in regard to the three of wands, you're opening your mind to so many options and thinking where to go, where to live, because you've got the power now. That's what this one was saying, saying you are so empowered. It says you are strong beyond measure. Your strength is beyond measure, and you need to know that. So stepping into your power and take action because you are going to go places and you are going to expand your mind and think, where do you want to live? What do you want to do? This is the time for you to live the life you want to live and to embrace your power and use it at this time because, you know, this is what's going to guide you to the next level. This is what's going to take you to the next life, next chapter. So that's that one there. Okay, now. I'm going to go to, towards the Queen of Swords, just a, a sip of water. And I continue on. Let's have a look. Right, the Queen of Swords, the truth, or this person that's air energy, what's happening to them? Let's see. For the collective, justice will prevail. So the justice twice, as you can see, the justice card two times, showing that if there is an injustice, justice will prevail. This could be also connected to people that are Libra. This is Libra because we're talking about the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Swords is air energy. So I feel like strong Libra here, but then of course there could be Aquarius and Gemini without a doubt, but I feel like Libra very strong. It also shows justice is going to be for you and there's going to be a proposal or a proposition, one that's going to be spectacular and it's going to give you the justice you need. So you won't be able to say no to it. And that is in regard to... The Queen of, the Queen of Swords. I'll put Justice back because it wasn't part of it. And there is an ending. Something is ending without a doubt. Something is coming to an end. Let's have a look with the Page of Wands, a new beginning that brings you um, a lot of expansion. Let's have a look at the, um, the Knight of Wands. And it shows, yes, there is something coming to an end because it has no more foundation, no more future. So it's collapsing. This collapse may be very painful. You're leaving behind and moving, sadly. But this collapse is happening for a good reason. This is going to be benefiting you. Your high is good. A bit later on, you'll see it. It's also going to give you the power. The power like magic. Things are going to fall into place for you. You are going to be so empowered, especially with this new beginning or maybe this perhaps this new person that comes into your life. Um, fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, they might have fire in them, but it is an area of your life where you absolutely defeat it. It's part of destiny. It has to go. There it is. It's an ending. 
absolute ending. And it could be connected to someone of Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They could be um, connected to it. Okay, I won't take those cards out because we might need them a bit later on. Let's go to the money. Is that right? Or did I miss out on something? No, I did that. Yes. Let's have a look at the, the increase, the major rise in your money, my dear. Um, my dear viewers, let's see what it is. It says you are going to have the power, the strength, the strength, the courage to overcome a chapter and absolutely put an end to it. One that was very suffocating. One that was ripping your energy. It was killing you. It's over. Coming to an end, you are going to be uh, managing all your anger if you have been angry. And money is going to be the supporting mechanism for this. So that's really good. Money is going to be supporting this situation on a grand scale. Remember, my dear viewers, there is so much happening here that I haven't held them up to show you. But you are going to get what you love. And you are going to get a lot of support in everything you're doing. A lot of blessings are coming your way. Remember, the miracles are going to be endless. And there's so much that you love is going to take place. Things that you love, you are going to be getting on top of miracles, on top of a grand scale, and perhaps even love. Someone, see, it says give thanks to the gift of love that's coming your way. So love also on top of everything. Okay, let me just put this one over here. Let me hold these properly for you. So a lot of blessings, as you can see, a grand rise in your money, and give thanks to the blessings of love coming your way, and getting what you love with the miracles. Have a look at that. With the ex extraordinary miracles coming your way, overflowing, endless miracles, bringing you so much success, so much money, so much blessings, and something you love, and true love, give thanks for the blessings of love and miracles, so you understand this is like incredible, when you put it all together, you get to see the message and the blessings, they are overwhelming, in every area of your life, from money to love to home to achievements and to healing probably in many areas of your life with miracles. So uncertainty disappears, everything disappears when um, you and not to mention this, 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 okay, this was the money. Money was going to be the cause of you eliminating this ex extraordinary suffocation. You'll have the power, the strength to move forward. You'll be able to take action and move. So that's beautiful. Talking about movement and taking action and leaving, let's have a look at the Eight of Cups. Okay, Eight of Cups for the collective. Right, too much guilt, sleepless nights, worries, um, anxiety, depression, unhappiness, truth, being bombarded by a very painful truth, overwhelmed, all that comes to an end. Again, how? Money. A major rise in your money gives you the access to go and leave. This um, big amount of money is coming. It's relieving you. We're talking about the Eight of one, uh, eight of Cups leaving with stress, unhappy. And it shows, yes, you were very much, very much um, sad and not happy. And finally, the reason you're able to go is because probably getting what you love and the miracles, of course, and a lot of money. Money giving you the power to go giving you all the blessings that you're destined for. You are destined for so many blessings, so much, and getting what you love. So I feel like money is going to be, has been a problem, and now the money, extraordinary amounts of money coming in, are going to be supporting you to be able to move, to be able to eliminate something that was overwhelming. You say, for example, if you're working a job that's killing you, and you got a lot of money, obviously you'll leave it. You'll be able to be, taking care of your health instead of working. So that's just one example of what money can do. It can eliminate suffocation, um, tiredness, sickness even from working hard, illnesses, and finally you get to have your freedom and have a lot of wealth not to need to work, not to need to work and put up with so much, so much suffocation that might be hurting you. So that's ending without a doubt. That's over. And the miracles that are coming are going to be part of this money that's going to give you all the blessings that you deserve and more, my dear viewers. The blessings are going to be miraculous. And I feel like money is, seems to be the main thing here. On top of getting what you love also, that's also part of it. So you are again able to go again, take action and move. And celebration 
you are able to celebrate and take action and move. If you were stuck somewhere, you're able to take action and leave some of your travel or even leave and go to the next level. But celebrations are there and that's gorgeous. All right. Next we have, what was the next one? Oh, yes. Leaving the past behind you. Let's talk about the past. Okay. The truth about the Six of Cups for the collective. You've got to surrender the past. You've got to let go of the past and you will go through that aha moment in a new beginning that shows you and helps you understand with clarity and truth why. You'll understand why you have to leave the past behind and move on. The reason for it is because the truth was always there, but maybe it was hard for you to see it. Maybe you were in a very... Uh, in a place where everything was wrong, you were probably both going to different directions. Uh, maybe there was too much conflict. Maybe there was too much hard work. It was just too much and it had to come to an end. And that's why we've got the tower. There is no future um, in this situation. That's why it had to end. But there is a grand victory awaiting, a great epiphany or two. And working hard is going to pay off big time. So you are going to leave a situation behind. And there's the money that I was talking about. Uh, that we saw in the in the past before. Where is it? Money. That you are going to be helping others. Oh, was here some? Oh, here it is. Sorry. As you can see, high levels of wealth coming your way. Exceptional money. And when I say money, 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 some people think why um, I'm talking about money so much. It is all about money that's making you go to the next level. Uh, getting what you love, right? And... Um, not only getting what you love, this is about spending. Spending because of happiness, like joyous spending. And, you know, putting your money together with someone perhaps even. And then, of course, so much money to the point where you are supporting others. Helping those who are in need. The Six of Pentacles, twice on top of everything. So a lot of money, celebrations, and the Six of Pentacles supporting those who are in need. With their hands open, you are helping them, helping so many people, doing charities even, perhaps. So that's what this is all about. But the most important factor remains that this amounts of money that are so um, dramatically changing your life, you're able to move and take action. And you don't have to put up with um, illnesses or suffocation. That's why you are celebrating, because you're getting what you love. And you are going to be celebrating big time. And that's the end of that. Now, the next level is the Chinese cookies and see what they want to add to all of this. Remember, justice is going to prevail for you. My glasses. Oh, here they are. Let's have a look. At, okay, so we've got society. It says, say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way, excellent networking opportunities, and new love interest for singles. That's going to be the result. So remember... With this, giving thanks for the blessings of love. So that explains this. Any invitation that may come, do accept it because you'll be giving thanks for the blessings of love. So that's great. That's one of the miracles. The second one is a surprise. It says a disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. An invitation could bring love to those searching. Oops. Love to those searching. But remember, a disappointment is going to be followed by a pleasant surprise. So, again, an invitation could bring love to those who are searching for love. So that's fantastic. Okay, sounds great. My dear viewers, I hope you enjoyed the reading. Do give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. And please support me by seeing the video all the way to the end. That helps me, supports me on a grand scale. Let me know what you think about all this. Can't wait to hear from you. And... Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. That's going to be very supportive for me. And if you want to tip me, always remember to click on one or two ads and just let them run. You don't even have to watch them. That is a beautiful tip. And I appreciate all your contributions and all your support in every way. My blessings to you all. Namaste.